Welcome again on this series of videos on the EGOS 2 and the possible digital connections on the Jeep, so to say, for which we try to use an Arduino Uno. Um, past weekend the fast optocouplers that I had on order came in, which meant it was getting time to try out the DCC decoder. We had been working on S88 before. And that was working fine. And now the second step is to see if we can use uh, Arduino as a DCC function decoder and also a servo decoder for uh, 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 controlling our junctions. Well, I can say it works. I'm going to demonstrate it right now. Uh, but first, let me give a big thanks to the people behind the website called Minabay, because it is thanks to the software that they already had available for DCC monitoring that this is uh, now all working. What we have over here is, if I go to the right a bit, we have a white breadboard, it's a very small white breadboard, and that has the fast optocoupler on. And as you can see, we have a blue and a green wire that is connected uh, to the rails. That's where we pick up the DCC signal. We can see that we have DCC by the red LED, that is on and now as, as you can see it's off, so we know that we have signal when that LED is on. Then the fast optocoupler transfers the, uh, the higher voltage of the rails back to uh, 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 electrical uh, 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 signal of uh, 5 volts for the Arduino. And there is no connection, no electrical connection between the two circuits. So that's all safe to work this way. Why do we need a fast optocoupler? Well, because the, uh, the switching times of the DCC signal are quite high and with a normal optocoupler uh, the signal would simply not get through. Alright, so what we have on the Arduino then, that is, let me look, oh, and maybe I can also get the, uh, the Eagles in, inside where we have our junctions that we are going to switch. Um, in the Arduino, there's the software from the guys from Minor Bay, plus something that I added myself, that is to control the digital outputs and uh, up to a maximum of six digital servos. Over here we have one servo motor that we are going to turn. Well, I could as well do it right now. As you can see, if I press this button of my junction on the ECOS, then uh, the servo motor is controlling that junction. Well, that would it, it would be if I had connected it mechanically to a junction. Also, as you can see, the red light on the Arduino is going on. That means that not only we are controlling the servo, but we are at the same time controlling one of the digital outputs. The software that I, I added to the minor base software is that you can use every available uh, pin on the Arduino as a digital output and you have a maximum of six servo outputs that, uh, that are analog controlled or pulse width modulated control to be precise. The speed of, uh, with which the servo is rotating can be set in the software. If you like higher speeds or slower speeds, that's no problem. Also, the start angle and the end angle can be programmed. They can be programmed per servo separately. Uh, maybe I'm going to add a little software that uh, makes it possible to maybe program it while you are working. Uh, that that uh, I don't know yet. Maybe with a few push buttons we can take care that you, you can control your servo and see, okay, this is the right start position and then you know where you are. That, that is something that, uh, some luxury that I could add. But, but the first thing that I would like to accomplish, uh, that is that it works. And well, as you can see, we have a rotating servo and a, an output controlled by this junction switch here on the Eagles. And that all for the, the price of, in, if you buy them in China, an Arduino Uno with USB connection and, and everything on it, is 3 euros 30 cents. And well, if you compare that with a, a normal uh, a DCC decoder function board or a DCC decoder servo board, well, that will set you back anywhere between uh, 30 or 50 uh, euros, probably. So this is less money going under the table and all the money that's left over we can spend on rolling stock or other nice things. Uh, have a nice dinner uh, with your wife or whatever. 
So I like uh, I like it. I like that uh, that it works. And uh, from here on, I plan to use the Arduino's both for uh, function decoders, servo decoders, and S88 feedback uh, occupancy feedback decoders. And that means that, well, I think that I need three or four of them uh, uh, to control my whole layout that I have planned at this moment. Well, thank you for watching and maybe see you later back in another video of which I do not yet know the subject. Bye bye.